Good morning, Sprinton Lake. I'm Brendan Doherty. And I'm Matthew Kennedy with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, March 14th. Today is at day four. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, the following teams will meet. Eighth grade boys lacrosse during lunch in Mr. Phillips' room. Seventh to eight, seven and eighth grade boys track after school in the health room. Seventh and eighth grade tennis after school in Mr. Maz's room. Seventh and eighth grade girls lacrosse in the cafe during your lunch period with Miss Howe. Tomorrow, the following teams will meet. Eighth grade baseball after school in Mr. Nixon's room. 7th grade softball after school in Mr. McCarthy's room. 8th grade softball after school in the health room. Bonjour. The French club will meet, be meeting on Tuesday, March 14th at 3.05 p.m. in room A206. Time is running out to guess what teachers are behind the book. Check out the bulletin board across from the library to guess which staff members are behind each book. Grab an answer sheet in, in the library and place your guesses in the box. Students with the most correct answers will be put in a drawing to win a prize. The contest will end on March 16th. Eighth grade gr graders interested in trying out for the Pencrest cheerleading team should plan to attend a meeting on Tuesday, March 14th at 12 in Mr. Booth's room in B105. Bring your lunch. Let's check in with Dr. Sell for today's Trivia Tuesday question. Hey Spartans, it's Dr. Sal coming your way today. Happy Tuesday. I hope that you're all doing well and I hope that your week got off to a great start. In addition to, I hope you had an awesome, awesome long weekend last weekend. We missed you, but here we are. Uh, it is a new week. And keep in mind, we only have three weeks to go before spring break starts. So for these next three weeks, let's work hard, make good choices, and stay on top of those grades. And of course, let's follow the four R's here at Springton Lake. Ready, respectful, responsible, and resilient. We want you to go into spring break on a strong and positive note. And as I mentioned a second ago, stay on top of your assignments. Stay on top of your grades. With spring break on the horizon, we want everybody to be able to take a break over that time. But in order for that to happen, you've got to be in good shape because the marking period is actually ending not long after we get back from spring break. So again, do your part, work hard for the next three weeks, and then you get a break. This morning, I'd like to congratulate our Science Olympiad team that qualified to move on to compete in the state competition. While you were all off last week, they were competing, representing Springton Lake, and they did really, really well. So congratulations to our Science Olympiad team, as well as their sponsor, Mrs. Heckman, Mr. Crossman, who is also very involved, and all of the science teachers that helped out and lent some of their expertise we're really appreciative and really excited for you guys to all compete in the state competition in April. I'd like to also this morning thank everyone in seventh and eighth grade who expressed an interest in representing Springton Lake on the Fox 29 game show, The Classroom. We had lots of people who were interested and it was a super difficult decision. But I would like to thank the following students and teachers who are going to be representing our school and competing against one another for bragging rights and $500. So congratulations to our student team, Kojo Yedem, Eva Bear, Miles Foster Lerner, and the alternate is going to be Jack Jancic. And they'll be up against our teacher team, led by Mr. Franz, Ms. Fletcher, Ms. Clark, and our alternate, Mrs. Terrific. We're really excited, and once we have information about when the show will actually air on television, we'll be sure to let you know. And now finally this morning, it is Tuesday, and it is time for Trivia Tuesday. And today we are celebrating Pi Day, 
And so we have to honor Trivia Tuesday by a shout out to the most irrational of all numbers. You know, 3.14159265539. Well, you you don't have all day and neither do I. So I'm going to stop there. But on this highly mathematical date, it seems only fitting that this famous scientist calls today their birthday. So can you name which famous scientist was born on Pi Day, 314? Was it A, Stephen Hawking, B, Albert Einstein, C, Isaac Newton, or D, Galileo? Think you know? Use the form that I shared with you in Schoology to submit your answer, and you might just win some bonus Spartan bucks. All right, Spartans, let's have a great day today. Work hard, and again, make good choices, and I'll see you out and about. That's all of our announcements for today. Have a great day, Spartans.